Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. I'm Jason Laird. Start things off with a nice shot out of Pueblo West here. Now, we're going to go ahead and put this on play here for you and show you exactly what the day looked like. Nice little time lapse over top of, again, Pueblo West there. Overall, with those big fluffy cumulus clouds, that's kind of telling us it was a relatively stable atmosphere out there today, and it pretty much lasted that way up until this afternoon. Now, the driving system behind the storms that we have seen, mainly moving through the Palmer Divide region, has all been driven off of this low pressure cell. Now, that guy has moved all over the place. It started in the North Pacific, dropped further south off of the California coast, and now is back up into the Dakotas region and has pulled all that moisture right along with it. And that's going to continue to help pull moisture across the region as the week progresses. Currently on the HD Doppler, not a lot of activity, just a little system north of the springs there. And it's not out of the question. We'll get a few more little pop up systems as the evening progresses. But for the most part, we're looking at a relatively clear evening. Again, just a little cloud cover over the higher elevations. And a fairly clear start to your morning tomorrow. Here's how the SkyCast models are painting in the rest of the day. So we'll get a couple of those little spotty showers moving throughout eastern Colorado. Nothing in the way of really heavy or very uh, uh, severe, just a little rain shower activity. And then as the morning progresses and we move into your uh, early morning commute tomorrow, relatively clear start to the day. That is going to allow for those temperatures to warm really quickly tomorrow. And don't get too comfortable just yet because those temperatures are only going to last for about one day because right behind it is a nice cold front. As the day progresses tomorrow, we're going to start to see some pretty heavy amounts of moisture build over the higher elevations. Again, all drawn off of that big low pressure cell well up to our north in the Dakotas. Go figure, the system in North Dakota is driving our weather. But notice we do have some pretty heavy amounts of moisture expected to move across our region. Again, just like today, areas basically from the springs up through the Palmer Divide region is where we'll definitely want to keep our eye tomorrow. That's where Skycast is anticipating the most amount of showers. As for tomorrow's high, Again, not a bad one. 92 degrees here into Pueblo, 83 here into the Springs, and a few mid 90s as we look off into eastern Colorado and 80s and 70s into the higher terrain. But when we check out the next seven days, here's where our tables take a bit of a turn for us. Again, temperatures on the fall and rain on the rise up through at least Wednesday. However, when Thursday starts to roll around, that's when temperatures will regain a little strength and start to warm up again. Reason for that, we have an area of high pressure beginning to move back into the region. But again, we got to get rid of these cold temperatures first. And they're going to stay fairly chilly with us, especially into the Canyon City region, dropping to the 70s by Wednesday. And then Thursday again is when things should start clearing out for us. In to Teller County. We're looking at plenty of moisture to go around up through Wednesday again. Those heavy afternoon showers are expected, but drying up by Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, guys, we've got a bit of a one two punch on the cold fronts the last couple of days. We had one just the other night, and another one is going to drop through and really give us that uh, jolt of cold air and drop things down to more fall like weather, per se. Jeez. Wow. Yeah. Are you superstitious? <sighs> I'm starting to get that way. Are you? <laughs> well, let's hope these athletes are not.